Whoops! Sorry about that. Seems that we had a technical difficulty. And just before the Pokemon Present starts. Fantastic! Anyway, sorry about that. So, anyways, we should be now... Hopefully the stream doesn't crash. There we go. We're live now. This is August the 18th, 2021. So... Yeah! I mean, like, I had a long introduction planned out, but because the stream crashed, like, a couple minutes ago, and it's about to be 9 o'clock... Is it on yet? Now? Yes, it is. It's just that... I tried my best to get it on Twitch, but uh, but then I remembered, oh yeah, that's right, Pokemon doesn't do their podcast on Twitch, they only do it on YouTube, and unfortunately there's kind of this visual glitch that kind of happens where the top part, uh, uh, top part has disappeared and the bottom part get, gets covered by a TV screen, so unfortunately there's that, but oh well, it's definitely a lot better than nothing. Anyway, so normally I don't usually do live reactions to Pokemon Presents, but... Come me impressed, they did such a good job on Pokemon Sword and Sh I mean, po not, not po Sword and Shield, new Pokemon Snap, that I'm kind of curious to see wh what... Yo, Rexshard! And it's a year too! Welcome, my dude! How you doing? Thank you so much! Welcome back to our wonderful world! That's a little loud. And it's kind of glitched up because it's stuck on two. Okay. So, as you can see, I mean, like, it, the presentation's not perfect, but what can you do? Anyways, like I was saying before I was interrupted, like, I actually really enjoyed New Pokemon Snap, and I'm very curious to see more info on the Diamond Pearl we makes, as well as Arceus. As, well, I mean, like, to to cut a long story short, um, like I grew up with Pokemon really early on in the days, and okay, I I could see the timer, so it's about to start. Thank thankfully. A anyways, um, I enjoyed the first genera generation and second generation. The third generation I liked, but not loved. I mean, like, it's still a very good generation, all, all, all things considered, but I don't know, I just don't remember it as well, comparing to the first and second games. The fourth game really got me into Pokemon, uh, and yeah, I, I it, it's definitely one of my favorite generations, Generation 4 with Diamond and Pearl, and the fact that not only are we getting a remake of this, but also uh, the Arceus, which is basically... Diamond and Pearl again, except 200 years in the past. Kind of can just see how it plans out. So, yep, the pre uh, presentation is about to start. Very curious to see what you guys think about. Uh, well, very curious to see what what we're going to get out of this. And that is very loud. Alright then, let me know if video and audio looks like you anyway, guys is in. Any type of feedback, love me a lot. Let's see if I could get the... Oh, it is that someone 2060. I'm Utsunomiya from the Pokemon Company. Today, I'm happy to share with you our latest updates on an... What the... Hold on. First, there you I'd go. like to share some news about Pokemon's first strategic team battle game, Pokemon Unite. Oh boy. Pokemon Unite. We come to announce that uh, we we we've heard feedback that this game is pretty much a free to play uh, pre, uh, pay to win game. Well, to to uh, to to fix those issues, we made the free uh, the pay to win even more egregious than before. Uh, let, let me adjust my volume real quick. It's a little low on my end. Players will also receive special gifts in their game based on the number of people who pre-registered for the mobile version, thanks to a special campaign happening now. We hope you'll all pre-register and look forward to the mobile release. Okay, now I should hear pretty good. Players who are quick to jump in with the Nintendo Switch version that has already been released can also receive Zera Aura's Unite license as a launch bonus. The Unite license can also be used in the mobile version by linking accounts. Has anyone actually enjoyed this game? Rexshard, have I'd you like played you Pokemon Unite before? The Pokemon that are slated to join in future updates. Is 
So I made it in, but no espion. I'm offended. Look forward to more from Pokemon Unite in the future. Now, I'd like to share some news about a few of our other games. Huh. <laughs> okay, I guess it's going to take a while before before it gets to the games that we really like. Pokemon, uh, Pokemon Cafe Mix. With Wii Mix. I've actually seen my little sister play this game. Looks decent. There will be tons of Pokemon new to Pokemon Cafe Remix and new dress up options. You'll also That's find adorable. Of growing and developing your staff Dang it, this game's too cute. So this renewed puzzle game is sure to be something. I have zero care for Pokemon Unite, but this game, I care a little bit. That's definitely that, that's definitely saying something. My goodness, it's been two years since this game came out. Pokemon Masters EX celebrates its two year anniversary. Dynamaxing is here. Cygnusuit Leon has arrived, and he's partnered up with Eternatus. Team up with brothers Leon and Hob to face Eternatus in the legendary event currently underway. And starting today. The two year anniversary of Pokemon Masters EX, players will get the chance to scout up to 100 sync pairs at no cost. Plus, three different legendary events are returning at once, meaning players can team up with three legendary Pokemon. How good is this game? I mean, like, it's probably doing well, seeing how it's, it's, it's two-year anniversary, but then again, it's Pokemon. When has there been a Pokemon project that hasn't failed? Outside of Pokemon Channel. But we don't talk about Pokemon Channel. Then, starting in September, a new story arc unfolds. Villainous organizations are stirring once more as the story takes a dark... Oh, great. All the villains are teaming up. ...want to miss it. We have plenty of other events and exciting content planned as well. So come join us in celebration of this special anniversary. Also, if you log into the game after this presentation, you can receive a present of 3,000 gems as our newest campaign begins. You won't want to miss it. Hooray, you get $5 for free. My goodness, they're giving- uh, they're, they're showing out all the mobile games. Like, we know you want to play- uh, you want more information on Diamond and Pearl remakes and Arceus Journeys, but... Mobiles! Part 3 Sword and Shield event will begin on August 20th, 2021 at 10 a.m. local time. Players can look forward to seeing Wulu, Squavit, and Phalanx during the event. The so is this the first time that I've seen a Wulu in, uh, what was the third, uh, what was the third one? As I said, I never played Sword and Shield, uh, I never played Sword and Shield, so some, some, some of those po uh, I am, I'm not familiar with all the Pokemon available. Be sure to take part in these events and discover the truth behind these curious appearances. Your adventures in the real world will only continue to grow in Pokemon Go. Next up, we have some news about the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Yes! Pearl. The thing that we actually care about! Let's go! Spoilers! It's gonna be exactly the same as the previous one. And suddenly this became way too loud. Give me a sec. Well, that was necessary. Hello there. It's very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Are you a boy or are you a girl? That's the, that's the number one question that, that, that every professor must ask in life. Oh, 
looks a little bit better from the first time we've seen it, at the very least. Although the the it, the trailer uh, the stream quality isn't exactly great. Curious to see how it looks like when we actually play it on uh, on a Switch. We could customize our Pokeballs? Oh man, who else is getting flashbacks but we're using the... Oh, you could... Ch awesome! You could change the characters in this. And like this, it's it's better than... Uh, Omic oh, contests are back! That's awesome! You could, you could actually customize. I mean, the. You can actually customize the trainers in this version, comparing to Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. That's pretty awesome. Interesting. So Underground's showcase the Pokemon. Interesting. Cool things. Yeah, I mean, like, this is... This definitely looks really impressive. Chibi Cynthia. Cynthia. Think of what's her name. Cynthia? Yeah, it's Chibi Cynthia. And thus, so fan art will go crazy. <laughs> Neat. That was a pretty good trailer, I won't lie. The release of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl is now just three months away. Let's Man, the, the audio bouncing is all over games. the place. After 15 years, Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl have been reborn into Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. This adventure takes place in the Sinnoh region, a land rich in nature with towering Mount Coronet at its heart. As the protagonist, you'll adventure across the region, catching wild Pokemon and making new friends as you strive to complete your Pokedex. Along with your partner Pokemon, you'll overcome the gym leaders of each area and aim to become the champion. You'll also encounter traces of the Sinnoh region's myths, passed down through the generations, and unravel the truth behind their mysteries. I'm still curious about something. This In the English Robin. release, Join it was slightly sensual, but because the main goal of Ga Pokemon Team Galactic Evolution. was trying to get the main person to become this God, clearly Nintendo God. back then was was a bit of a no-no on that, and they became very generic because of it. So I wonder if they're going to stick that uh, stick that version of the story back uh, back in this remake. Who knows? Everywhere you look, Team Galactic is up to something. There appears to be some sort of lofty goal behind all their audacious activity. Cynthia is investigating myths about Pokemon. And there she, she is. is the life of a century for a lot of people. Journey. Gameplay features from Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl have been revamped and powered up for these new games. 
In the Grand Underground, you can participate in a number of activities, such as digging up fossils or creating your own secret base and decorating it with Pokemon statues. There are also places down there called Pokemon Hideaways, which didn't exist in Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl. Apparently, the Pokemon that appear in the Pokemon Hideaways will change depending on which statues you have placed in your secret base. It seems that so you have an so you have an actual reason to make your secret base, not just do something for fun. Oh, I then noted. Actually, that kind of begs the question: How would Nuzlocke's work with this? I mean, like, it makes sense in the overall because it's a random uh, it's a random Pokemon. By collecting stickers at various locations along your journey and decorating with them, you can make your Pokemon battles even more fun. One new feature that was not available in Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl... And like that, the fan art for Dawn is going to go absolutely crazy. And I am perfectly okay with that. In Super Contest shows, your Pokemon can dance to the rhythm of the music, Proudly show off a contest move and aim for a successful show. <laughs> and that metallic just killed everyone on, on, on the audience. Either that or, or they're going to be very wet. This release allows you to use not only local communication, but also online communication to interact with trainers all over the world in real time. Please enjoy battles and Pokemon trades with many other trainers. You can walk around with any of the Pokemon that appear in these games. Nice! Enjoy your journey through Sinnoh together. Th this, I mean, I haven't seen this feature come back. I, I haven't seen this feature since the DS Gold and Silver games. Thank you. With all kinds of people and Pokemon and the mystery behind Sinnoh's myths await you. Now we just need Spiky Ear Pichu. We hope you look forward to starting an exciting adventure with new gameplay features in the Sinnoh region. Please wait just a bit longer for the start of your adventure. But that's not all. A special Nintendo Switch Lite Dialga and Palkia edition will also be released to celebrate the launch of these games. This special Nintendo Switch Lite is dressed up with art of the legendary Pokemon Dialga and Palkia, bringing to mind the special Nintendo DS Lite Onyx Dialga and Palkia edition that was released back in 2006 to align with the original game's launch. It will be available to purchase beginning hmm. November 5th, 2021. Look it will not include a game. Sorry. Next, we have some information for you about the Pokemon Legends Arceus game. Which is All right, developed by let's go! Hit me and hit me hard. Hmm, is it just me or does the Pokemon company really love to showcase the start of Pokemon? I know, it feels a little weird. This is tale of the time long ago when, when the lives of humans and Pokemon were still separate. Oh, this is unapologetic Breath of the Wild. I mean, 100% Breath of the Wild. Well, at least the frame rate's a lot better. Ponyta! Sorry. Looks neat. Yeah, it definitely looks a lot better. Wow! Town definitely looks a lot better. I mean, like, 
Pretty interesting how they, get, they went a super different, different, different approach with Arceus. And yet the gameplay is still basically the same, which... I'm done with it. Behold, the glider from Breath of the Wild. Neat. Anyone getting Princess Momoki vibe from this? Like, not, okay, not only that this is taking a while from Breath of the Wild, but also Princess Momoki. And again, I am perfectly fine with that. And like that, the Calamity. Sheesh, you... Oh my goodness, did the Pokemon actually attack you? It does look like they have uh, different regional styles. Like, I think that was a Growlithe. Pokemon's trying really hard to impress us. It's working. Anime. Okay, still have the January 28th release date. I could have sworn that it was going to be delayed, but still, wow. For Pokemon Legends Arceus. Let's take a closer look at some of the elements introduced in the video. Pokemon Legends Arceus is a brand new title that opens new doors for the Pokemon series by fusing action with RPG elements. An action RPG, if you will. It takes place in a region known as Hisui, during a long ago era when it was rare for people to live in harmony alongside Pokemon. Hey, I thought we were at the Sinnoh region. Towers over the center of the land, with sprawling, diverse, natural environments surrounding the mountain on all sides. These different areas are home to a rich variety of Pokemon ecosystems. In the future, this land of Hisui will come to be known as the Sinnoh region. You'll set out on an adventure ah, okay. with the goal of completing the first ever Pokedex for the Hisui region. The bustling Jubilee Village will be the base for your adventures. It's home to the Galaxy Expedition Team, made up of people from various other regions. The regions. Galaxy Expedition the Team, you say? The hmm. Corps, the Security Corps, and the Survey Corps, which researches Pokemon. I'm getting the feeling that Team Galactic is going to the fellow members of the hmm. Interesting. We're getting lore from Team Galactic, it seems. So you tell me that we're looking for the bad guys. One of these Pokemon to you. Captain Silene is the leader of the Survey Corps. Though she may seem to treat you harshly, deep down she's your biggest supporter, and she watches over your progress with care. Commander Komodo oversees the entire Galaxy team. He's a dependable leader who has earned the unwavering trust of his team members. When the you know what this kind of reminds me of? For Pokemon, research, Pokemon Conquest on the DS, the one that crossed over with Nobunaga's board. ambition. I don't know, just looking at that guy kind of reminds me of that. Patrisu. catch Pokemon to shed light on how they live. Your survey duties hold the key to unlocking the true purpose of your adventure, and in the course of your work, you'll visit various locations within the Hisui region. Your excursions outside the village will begin by preparing at a base camp. At these camps, you'll be able to prepare for your survey work by buying items or crafting new ones from basic materials. In the 
Kisui region, you'll find that you'll be vulnerable to attacks from wild Pokemon. Take too much damage from their attacks, and you'll black out. So use caution when you're out doing your survey work. When your Pokemon are hurt, you can return to a base camp to rest up and recover. Once you've completed a survey assignment, return to the village and report the results to whoever requested the job. Pokemon live all over the place. Get close to them and aim carefully, then throw a Pokeball to try to catch them. You'll find that not all species of Pokemon react the same way when they spot you. For example, some Pokemon will immediately flee, so you'll want to hide in tall grass when you approach them. Aggressive Pokemon, on the other hand, may need to be weakened in battle. There are a variety of tricks to catching them all. By killing them and making them your slaves. Pokeball Sorry. Containing one of your own Pokemon near a wild Pokemon and a battle will begin. You'll find that a single Pokemon may get to act multiple times in a row, depending on its speed stat and the moves that it uses. You can also choose to have hmm. Pokemon use their moves in two different styles. Interesting. Style and Agile style. Using a move in the strong style will increase the move's power, but the Pokemon's action speed will be lowered. Using a move in the Agile style will decrease the move's power, but the Pokemon's action speed will be raised. You'll find the strong style will come in handy when you see a chance to end a battle with one powerful move. While the agile style is great for situations where acting multiple times in a row will give your battle strategy. You know, this reminds me of Bravey Default. Style as the situation demands to gain the upper hand in battle. Gain some. I mean, like it, it's definitely the same Pokemon fighting uh, fi uh, uh, battles that we all know and no. But, but these new that. things that they added to it kind of reminds me of Blavy to fall a little bit. information by doing things like catching Pokemon, seeing them use certain moves multiple times, and more. Seek out and meet lots of different Pokemon to complete that Pokedex. Again, good luck trying to Nuzlocke this game. Now, we'd like to introduce some of the Pokemon living in the rich, natural environments that are spread out across the Hisui region. This Pokemon with distinctive antlers is known as Weirdeer. Weirdeer evolves from a Stantler that has managed to... So wait, there's new Pokemon in this game? ...environment of the Hisui region. Or are these the... Uh, 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 regional forms that... That, uh, that Wexstrad was talking about. Made with the first shed from its beard, tail, and legs are highly prized... Again, I skipped out on Sword and Shield, so I am completely lost. This Pokemon is It can swim with great power. Basculin that live in the Hisui region can evolve into this Pokemon if they become possessed by the restless souls of other Basculin in their school that have perished during their journey upstream. This Pokemon gains power from the souls possessing it, letting it swim on and on without tiring. There are also Pokemon that can be found living in this land in forms that have adapted to the environment of the Hisui region. This Pokemon with its great majestic wings is the Hisuian form of Braviary. It comes to Hisui in the winter and can imbue its screeches with psychic power to generate shockwaves. This Pokemon, which works with a partner, is the Hisuian form of Growlithe. It is a Help! Very I can't see where I'm going! ...appears to protect its territory. Let's see how they talk. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, I mean, like, go right. That was definitely a new... Uh, th those two were definitely new Pokemon, which... Does this technically count as so Hisuian Growlithe uses it only when Gen 9th? the greatest effect? The Pokemon Arceus holds the key to this story, but what connection does it have to your adventure? We hope you look forward to finding out on the day when you can finally meet the people and Pokemon of the Hisui region for yourself. Those were our latest updates on these new entries in the Pokemon series. Pre-orders for Pokemon Legends Arceus, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, and Pokemon Shining Pearl will become available. Well, at least they specify that it's coming on Friday. You know, like every other Nintendo game. Good, good, good thing they clarify we also that. announced that support for these titles is planned to come to Pokemon Arceus. Cloud service for Nintendo Switch and compatible mobile devices. Oh yeah, I kind of forgot Pokemon Home was a thing. I know you say it's a spin-off, so it shouldn't count. Well, it's a spin-off that has a completely new Pokemon. 
complete with Weejas and all, that you could connect with Pokemon Home with, so... It's technically the main game? We hope you all have fun participating in even more competitive play in the future. Those are all the latest updates we can share with you today. We hope you're looking forward to all the exciting Pokemon adventures to come. Thank you all for tuning in and watching. All right, that's it. No special announcements. What they announced, uh, what what they uh, what what they said before that they're going to show off, uh, show off, is indeed exactly what they show off. And yeah, that was good. I mean, like, granted, the first ten or so minutes was just nothing but mobile games, and that kind of uh, that kind of dragged off just a little bit too much. But overall. I came to see Pokemon uh, Diamond Po remakes and Journey Arceus, and I got exactly that, and yeah, it was good. I like it. I really like it, and I'm looking forward to see what they have in store. And that's kind of it. Huh. Honestly, I, I, I did kind of expect a little bit more stuff to talk about, but I mean... What you see is what you get, and I was pretty satisfied. So, so sorry about all the technical difficulties, and sorry about all the so, some of my reactions not being 100% fantastic. I mean, if I had to guess, Roger Space and all, all the other Pokemon fan, uh, fan, uh, fanatics not only gave better performances, but kind of freaked out when they saw all this new stuff. But uh, overall, I had a good time. And I'm glad that you guys could uh, come come here and watch my reactions and see my thoughts on it. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. And I shall see you guys on Friday with My Card 8 Deluxe for My Card Fridays. As, uh, honestly, I was taking going to take a day off of this anyways. It's just I got the word that the, the, that the podcast was today. And so, stream today. Don't feel like streaming anything else today, and no stream on Thursday. So basically, back to streaming on Friday. So thank you, thank you so much for watching, and I shall see you next time. So until then, later.